Hi, my little angels. Welcome in. Come in. Come in. I'm so happy to see you guys. I've missed you so much. I'm so glad that you're here and happy new year. Uh, my first video of 2024. And thank you guys for being patient with me while I've been sick. That came out of the blue. <laughs> um, I wouldn't wish that virus on anyone. Um, I was really quite ill and no way could I fail. I had no voice for one thing. It's still not back 100%. So what you hear is what you're getting for now. Uh, but I do see my new people. Thanks, you guys. Hi. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad. Come on in. That you're giving my channel a chance. I hope you like what you see. And if you do, feel free to like it, to share it. Absolutely, please leave a comment. I love the comments. I love interacting with you. And definitely hit that subscribe button, please. Um, YouTube's just been messing me around the last, probably the last week or so with numbers. Um, first they told me I was at 8,000, then I was at 7,800, then I was at 7,900. I don't, the numbers don't mean anything. I was worried about um, offending people. I thought maybe I had a mass exodus on my hands. Uh, but no, it's just YouTube playing with numbers and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you want to hit that subscribe, please feel free. And my returning people, thank you guys for coming back. And thank you for all your words of encouragement and all your get well wishes. I really, really appreciate them so, so much. And I hope everyone enjoyed the Christmas holiday videos. And um, I hope that everybody gets through it intact, <laughs> you know. Um, it's a new year, but we're not putting too much pressure on ourselves. I can't stand when people do that. Um, but speaking of new, I do have some new things I want to show you. One of which is my new backdrop. Um, we're doing a blue theme for a little while. And I love this one because it's got all kinds of affirmations on it. You're courageous. You're brave. We're in this together. You're tougher than you think you are. There is love everything and I'll be moving it around um, throughout the next month or two and I decided to do a blue theme on my decorations blue blue there was something I was gonna show you guys I got it guys oh, it's a little heavy I got my blue Yeti So I'm going to see how it goes. It took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited and I'm going to design a mic cover for it. I've got some fancy jewels I want to put on it and I have my furry mic cover. My furry mic cover with a hole in it because Candy got a hold of it, which is fine because I thought she had a mouse in her mouth, so it was freaking me out. That was another day. And here's some new decor. I went house hunting and before anyone panics no I'm not moving I went hunting around my house for things that I can put in my studio and I found this vase at the back of a cupboard I like it so I put a candle in it and I want to hear if you guys can hear it I got the woodwick candle to work and I love this because it's got the braiding at the top I really thought that was nice and I got the woodwick candle at um, before I got sick I went to winners and they were having a huge clearance on the Christmas stuff and this candle because it didn't have a lid I got it for three dollars three dollars a woodwick candle and it's unscented which is happy for me because I did want to show you some other can another candle I got. This one is called Frostbite. This came from my brother and sister-in-law. And I wanted to show you the card and the envelope that she made us. She's an artist, like she's very artistic and they're just beautiful, but our names are all over them. And I have no problems you knowing my name, but Uncle Angel and Baby Angel, I'm not making that choice for them. So, But this one is called Frostbite and it has peppermint, sage, and eucalyptus. And when you smell it, I don't know how else to describe it. It smells cold. I can't, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm not losing my mind. It smells like 
the cold. And even this feels cold. But I just love it. I absolutely love it. And I thought, since I'm doing a blue theme and it's winter, I thought I would bring out my blue penguin hourglass. And I love this one so much because it's acrylic, so I don't have to worry about broken glass if it falls or anything. And it's small enough I can pop it in my purse if I really need something to distract me, you know. So there's that. And of course my battery operated candles. And then I have a few other things to show you. I'm so excited. So I, I think I showed these, but I might have just talked about them. I found these at the back of a cupboard when we were putting away the Christmas decorations. I think they're beautiful. They're just stunning. And what I put in here, this is a heel file, but it's glass. And it came from Sephora. I just think it's cool. And then a, a crystal nail file. And I just love them. I thought, okay, I'll pop them in there. And then this one, I got one of these. And this one is angels. Okay, it's fairies, but I'm calling them angels, all right? Um, I love these, the carousels that the, the flame makes move, um, except I'm afraid of them. I was at a friend's house, and she had recently had relatives come over from Germany, and they brought her one. And she's like me. Well, don't light it. It's too pretty and it's wood and fire and, you know. Anyways, they they said to light it. So she lit it and it was on top of her hearth. And I think that was main part of the problem. I don't think it was completely level. Anyways, we were chatting and I happened to look over and the thing was completely inflamed. Luckily, it was right beside the fish tank. So people were literally putting their hands in, no fish were harmed, and throwing water and no harm was done. But from that point on, I, I was afraid of them. So when I watched Ray Moon's video and I saw her with them, I thought, metal, this is perfect. So I looked around at the candle shops here, but I couldn't find any. So I went on Amazon and there it was. So yeah, when I find a tea light that I can put in it, because most of mine are battery, um, I will definitely be showing you how that works. Now, this is a kind of a catch-all video, just a catch-up and saying hi and letting you know I'm on the mend, um, showing you my new background in the new studio, and I want to show you some um, viewer mail and gifts. I People were very sweet and very kind, and I'm so incredibly touched. Now, this is from my friend Olivia in Illinois. I love this, Olivia. I love this so much. And she sent me a beautiful card, um, which I can't show because there's pictures on it. Um, but I just, I love this so much. I really do. And it is going to stay right here with my cupcake, which is going to be on display because it goes with my theme too. <laughs> and then I got a lovely card. Where is it? Here it is. Um, from Kira ASMR and it's Kira underscore ASMR. I think it used to be Kira of Edinburgh ASMR, but now it's Kira, C-I-A-R-A -A, underscore ASMR. And she sent me this beautiful card, which I'm assuming this is Gaelic for Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And she wrote me such a lovely note. You, got, you have beautiful handwriting, dear. Really beautiful. Um, and I really, I am so grateful. I really, oh, look, it matches my nails. Um, so, so grateful for that. And she sent me some lovely gifts. So one of the things is this beautiful oil. And she told me that she dilutes it and puts it in a diffuser, or you can put it in potpourri. And the scent, I know this, I'm pretty sure it's a Christmas scent. Like, I think it says that. Christmas in a bottle. I knew it was something like that. Okay, even with my cold, this smells so, so good. 
like I'm not just using it for Christmas time. I love the scent of it and I will be using it. I will definitely be using it. Thank you, Kira. Thank you. And then when Kira did a video, she showed these. I was immediately, immediately drawn to them. And I said, can you send me how to make those? And she did tell me how to make them, but she also said that there might be some on the way to me. So she dried out these orange slices and I just, I think they're beautiful. I absolutely think they're gorgeous. I really do. They don't have a scent or they might, I just don't have a smell, but they're, she's dried them out beautifully. They're absolutely perfect. And she sent me two, which I love and I'm going to be keeping out and some cinnamon sticks, which just make everything smell so much better. And this beautiful ornament that I'm actually going to be pinning to the background very shortly. Um, and I just love it because I also love the Celtic design. You know, as you guys know, I did that Celtic blanket for my husband. And yeah, I just love it. I'm so grateful, Kara. You have no idea. And Olivia, everyone that sent me anything, thank you so much, all of you. I so, so appreciate it. And I did wear my angel earrings on Christmas um, to church, so thank you for that. And yeah, guys, I, I'm i really excited for this coming year. I'm not putting pressure on myself. I'm not walking, new year, new me. There's nothing wrong with the you that you are right now, okay? We grow, we evolve, we are all works in progress. And that's what we need to be. And that's what we're going to be, okay? Don't put pressure on yourselves, guys. You don't have to. Um, the other thing, I if you guys make New Year's resolutions, I make what I call a New Year's intention. So it's like a we goal. And I don't put that much pressure on myself. Um, mine is... Where did I put it? There it is. One second. Um... I'm taking to heart everybody that said I really do need to drink more water when I confess that I'm not drinking water. So I did, when I was at Winners, I bought myself this one. I like this very much. It holds five and a half cups, 1300 milliliters. It was, it says it was $14.99, but I'm pretty sure it was 20% off. So, well, yes, I like because it's purple. But what I like about it is short and more stout than it is tall. The tall ones intimidate me. You know, the um, the Stanleys and the Yetis, not you, dear. Um, those intimidate me. They just look too big to be, you know. I, I love my um, shimmery, what I call the, my Aurora Borealis tumbler, but I put ice in that and everything. But this one is gonna be just for water. My goal is to drink one a day. Hear me out. Plus a glass of water at dinner with my dinner with everybody. That will give me seven and a half glasses. Plus when I take my medication in the morning, I drink about a half a cup. So I figured there's my eight. If I can work my way up to having two of these a day, I'll be quite happy. So that's my goal, my intention. I'm not setting myself up to fail. I'm trying to give myself small goals. Should I have started this January 1st? Probably. Should I have started it yesterday? Which was January 1st? Probably. Should I have started it today? Probably. Did I? No. Because I can't get the labels off <laughs> because of my nails. Um, and I'm just not ready. So I might start tomorrow and from there I'll take it. I also have gone back to my Facebook page and I'm going to also add it to my Instagram. So if anyone wants my Instagram, I'll start putting it down in the description, is angel on my shoulder ASMR. And I am going to be posting on that every day, a positive thought for the day. I did it on Facebook for three and a half years. And I stopped it about six or seven months ago. I miss it. I love my videos, don't get me wrong guys, you guys are everything. 
I, I am sticking with this channel. But I want to add a little bit more positivity. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, so yeah, and I hope that you guys will join. I hope you'll like it. And yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. So I think I told you guys that I am missing something. I don't know where I've put it. I'll find it. I make fruitcake. And I know fruitcake can be quite controversial. Some people love it. Some people hate it. This, that, and the other. I think I make a pretty good fruitcake. I wouldn't know because I don't like fruitcake. But my husband loves it. My daughter loves it. My brother, my aunt and uncle, my older brother likes it. My niece and nephew admitted they really don't, so that's good. Um, there's somebody, oh, and my best friend. I haven't had the energy the last two years to do it. It is a big deal. Like, you know, I, I make it the proper way. Like, I soak everything and I, you know. So, I looked up. Where can I get the best ready-made fruitcake? I couldn't find anything here. And then I came upon an article. And it was talking about a fruitcake that beat out bakeries in Scotland and England. Sorry, guys and Canada and it was in Texas so I'm like okay I know people in Texas maybe I could work something out with them and they could ship it to me and I'll pay for it and everything but then I went on their website and yeah they do ship but I didn't order it because I'm thinking because hmm. you gotta remember guys with the cost of the exchange and the shipping it becomes quite expensive well then I happened to turn on Food Network and best thing I ever ate was on and they were talking about fruitcake did they not talk about the fruitcake I had just looked at on the bakery that decided it I ordered it for him so it came it's from the Collins Street Bakery in Texas and they sent this amazing tin and it's empty Bear in mind, it's not gluten-free. So the only one who ate it was Uncle Angel. And it filled this. Now, it was a ring. So there, he kept telling me that. It was a ring. There was no center. He said it was very good. I think it's better than mine. But he didn't. He knows better than to say that. Now, I did buy this. And they also have petite ones. like, And it's a pack of six. So that's actually in our freezer so that he can have some throughout the year. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this because I do know I have a lot of uh, viewers in Texas. So it pays to do your research, guys. It really does. So I told him I just wanted the tin for to show you guys because he wants it for the band cave, you know, because he thinks it's so cool that there's the cowboy and and the Christmas scene as well. He thinks that's so cool, you know? And I guess the star, because it's the Lone Star State. I hope I'm not offending anyone by saying, I, I hope that's the right thing to say. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. Oh, I do have one more thing to show you that I also got at Winners. And this one was on clearance for $12 which I still think is a bit pricey, but I couldn't resist, especially because looking at it, I think I can reuse this for something else, but it is a snow globe of beauty blenders. And this is plastic, and it's got all the different color beauty blenders in it, which I have now discovered I was wrong Beauty blenders have a place in my makeup repertoire. But it has some glitter in there. Because all snow globes do, right? But I think that I can separate this without breaking it. Take out the beauty blenders. Keep the glitter in there. Because I don't want that on my face. Um, and maybe fill it with something else. Um, 
I'm not sure what yet, but something. And I thought it would be a great tapper. So yeah, there we go, guys. And I have one more. Sorry about that. I don't know how it fell. This is another thing I'm going to keep up here. I was going to put it away with the Christmas decorations. This is olive wood from Bethlehem. And it's an angel. And since my channel is called Angel on My Shoulder, I thought maybe it would be nice to have an angel or two around. Well, I know I have a couple, but... So I'm just going to put it there for now. Um, and I'm going to start hanging things from here as well. Um, so yeah, and I think the Christmas card um, exchange went really well. If there's more to come, don't worry, I will be showing them. Um, I think I do have one more to show, but it might be in my purse. But next video I will. Um, my address is going to be below. Feel free to send it. Also postcards, guys. We can still do our postcards exchange whenever you want. I have my angel on my shoulder postcards. And I will be sending those to you. Now, I'm going to cut this video a little short now because I can feel myself starting to feel unwell again. So, I don't want to push things. So, let's blow the candle out together. Why don't we make a wish for this year? I'll even say mine out loud. I wish for all of us to see the best in ourselves, to feel the best in ourselves, and to be able to heal. I hope your wish comes true. And as always, my little angels, I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very, very glad that you were born.